how to add transparency to a vector shape in Affinity Photo. Now I've created a previous video on a couple of methods and now here's another one. This one using live gradients. So deselect that. So you've got a diamond design, it could be any shape, but just simply go to layer and go down here to new fill layer. And it's gonna be a gradient. So new fill layer, and this point is solid. But what you can do, just go here and say linear. Just select there in the top left and you can move up and down then you've got the color red and obviously a slightly darker color. You can click here and you can turn around and say, oh, I want that one to be black. So let's just turn that, make that slightly dark. But also what you do, just double click there and you can change your opacity. So with this, you can modify this gradient in numerous ways, but just go for that one. And the key thing, the one that's selected is slightly bigger than the others. So just and then you can reduce that down and you can see through to see that design below. Now at the moment, it's not part of the diamond shape. It will be in a few seconds. So with that design now, this fill layer here, I can just drag it down. Just drag it down and make certain that's all highlighted. So you can see it just all highlighted like that and release. And as soon as you've done that, that one is now part of this diamond design. And you can see it here. As before, you can then go to the gradient tool. So select it here, the fill. Go to the gradient tool and now just drag that up and down. Now at this point, you're saying, oh, well, what's happened to the transparency? Well, the reason is the diamond itself has got a color. So you can just go up here and instead of having solid there, you could go with none. And now you can see through it. Another alternative is you could always do it via here. You just click there and you've got an option here just to set it to none as well. That's another option. But you can see now, you can see through the diamond. Of course, you can move it around in numerous ways. Just up and down, different positions. You can make that less or more transparent. You can make that whole thing there so you can see straight through it. Or we'll just resize it, reposition it there. But also what you can do is you can make more complex designs by just right clicking over here in the fill. So right click and duplicate. And now you've got two. Of course, they're exactly identical. But what you can do, you can select that one. And now you can move that around. Maybe decide, you know what? I don't want those colors. I don't want that transparency. So maybe double click here. And again, pasty, reduce that down. Maybe not that much. Maybe make that green. Click there, make it green and so on. You can create a variety of different things. Also go for elliptical. So you can change. Just move that, You've got the linear and now the radial combined. Well, you can continue to add five, 10 multiple layers, but you can create all kinds of transparency then. Now just go back to the diamond. So the diamond selected, and with that diamond selected, you can see through it, I can, you can see the underlying image. But also what you can do, you can hold down the ultra option key, make sure it's the diamond, and just duplicate that diamond. And you can see then straight through that design. And of course, what you can do, you can always select any of them individually and then simply just go over here with the gradient tool again and just modify that design. And you can change it, change the transparency as well. You run through all those different designs. And of course, this is the same for any other shape. So if you want to, you can use any of these other shapes as well, ellipses, etc. So that's a quick way of adding some interesting transparency and color to your shapes. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you much.